Tensions between Turkey and the U.S. have reached an all-time high. Both NATO allies have mutually suspended visa services for security reasons. The trigger behind this tension was the arrest of Metin Topuz, a Turkish citizen working in the U.S. consulate for the last 35 years, had contact with 121 high-ranking FEDO members and helped FEDO suspects flee from Turkey to the U.S. And so he was charged with attempting to overthrow the constitutional order and Turkey's government. But Topuz's case is only a symptom of a much larger issue that's seen a fallout between Washington and Ankara. The diplomatic crisis goes back to December 2013, when prosecutors linked to the Fethullah terrorist organization, or FETO, launched an investigation into government officials. The government said the documents were fabricated as part of a plot to topple the then Prime Minister, Recep Tayyip Erdogan. One of the top suspects in the probe was Iranian-Turkish gold trader Riza Zarab, who is now in jail awaiting trial in the United States for breaching U.S. sanctions on Iran. U.S. prosecutors also included Turkey's former economy minister, Zafer Çalayan, under the same charges. This was strike one in the standoff as President Erdogan clarified that these charges were illegal since Turkey had no obligation to follow U.S. sanctions on Iran. Things got even messier after last year's July 15th failed coup attempt, when the U.S. consulate in Istanbul communicated with Adil Oksuz, a senior member of FETO, tasked with overseeing the group's clandestine network within the Turkish army. The U.S. consulate claimed they contacted Oksuz to inform him of the cancellation of his U.S. visa. However, this raised suspicion in Ankara, particularly as the U.S. still provides immunity to the chief ideologue of FETO and the mastermind of the July 15th failed coup attempt, Fethullah Gulen. Turkey has repeatedly requested the extradition of Gulen after his network's unconstitutional actions led to the deaths of 249 people in the night of July 15th. But the U.S. has not budged, refusing to respect the Turkish government and its justice system. The U.S. has further undermined Turkey's national security as a result of their Syria policy. The U.S. provides vital military aid to the Kurdish PYD militia in northern Syria. The problem is that the PYD is directly affiliated with a terrorist PKK organization, which is in direct conflict with the Turkish government since the collapse of the 2015 peace process. The rift between Washington and Ankara can have dire consequences for the region. A longtime NATO ally, Turkey has a vital role in the current conflict in Syria and is a stabilizing force in Iraq. But despite the strategic importance that Ankara requests, the U.S. continues to support terrorist groups undermining Turkish national security. So will the U.S. reassess its foreign policy or will it risk losing an important ally?